So Seth Rollins was getting pegged. And then they were late to the house show on Sunday night. WWE Monday Night Raw. Nothing about this show is raw. July 10th, 2023. Buffalo, New York. Great. Was West Side Gun there? If for some reason you looked into the preview of this show, the hype of this show was Seth Rollins and Little Rey Mysterio's son and some YouTube cocksucker versus Ricochet. Uh, my crotch is tight. Like this video. Subscribe, share, what have you. Finn Balor came out. Uh, he's a little man. He has no charisma. He's pale. Basically, that's 99% of uh, wrestlers today. Seth Rollins comes out with a tray of wings. Still doing this goofy gimmick. Nobody knows who is this gimmick for. Is he a heel? Is he a face? Is he a tweener? Is he a twink? There's no reason to watch this show. I don't know who does. This is content. Damian Priest, you know, they give him the money in the bank. I don't know why. Finn Balor is a mid-carder. Mysterio and uh, uh, Gonorrhea Ripley, they come out. Mysterio has unbelievable um, heat. He's kind of the new Vicky Guerrero. This goth, this Saints Row slash brood slash ministry group. Obviously, they gave Priest the money in the bank because this was going to be, I don't know, a shot in the arm or a boost or whatever you want to call it. But he's not a main eventer. Seth Rollins ain't a main eventer to me with his fake AEW looking belt. It's like, that, that belt is so terrible. Why did they make a new one? Like, what was the point of giving Reigns both belts, pretending it's unified, just to make another belt, and this belt looks like golden oatmeal on a leather strap? It, it looks like the WCW belt mixed with the AW belt. They do some segment, the crowd boos, Rollins is dressed ridiculous Drew McIntyre and Riddle are tag team on this evening I don't know why Drew McIntyre who has monster heat backstage with the office he's trying to get out the company he wanted to leave the company and debut at the AEW uh, Wembley show people can never shut up so this gets out so they are forcing him to come back They're forcing him to be a mid-carder. Not going to let him leave. Apparently, they want to extend his contract till next year. That's what I'm hearing. You know, um, Drew McIntyre is close friends with one of these dirt sheet writers, Billy Body. Now, uh, Billy Body is probably the most accurate reporter, but still, it's still a dirt sheet guy. And these people can never keep their mouth closed. So it might have been his fault leaking this out. I, I, the, the Walter guy, I, I, Gunther, whatever, who gives a shit? He's a good talent. But um, somebody, uh, call me when he's a main eventer. I, I don't care about mid-card pushes, really. You know, more Balor, Priest, who cares? They give you this video of the bloodline because SmackDown is allegedly the show to watch. And this show is... Oh, God. This show doesn't matter. Another reason, why is it getting a world title, a new world title? This show don't even matter. I don't know where, where, where is anything going. Nothing has any meaning. No soul. Like the video. Jinder Mahal. <laughs> they have a package, pause, of Jinder Mahal. I didn't even know he was still employed. 
You talk about worst world champions. Oh, my God. Worst world champions. Who was worse than Jinder Mahal? I'll wait. At least the great Kali was like a monster and a giant. Jinder Mahal was a pale Canadian playing an Indian who was in a rock band with a turban and then they fire him. Then he gets on some sort of a physical boost. Let's put it that way. He has veins in his neck now. He comes back. He has the Eddie Guerrero acne, the Luther Reigns acne. And then he gets the world title. Didn't he beat Randy Orton? But then even Jinder Mahal, you see, this company always has to, always has to go back to their tropes. Didn't Jinder Mahal lose in India versus Triple H? It's like, my God, Triple H. Tri Triple H. He pulled out his hammer, and I heard it was a short one, and he had to nail Mahal, <laughs> nail Jinder Mahal. <laughs> it's like... Um, I, 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 I guarantee you that whole Triple H health scare retirement, him crying like a bitch on ESPN. I guarantee you that's bullshit. At some point he is going to come back and have a match. At some point he's going to come back and pedigree somebody at the least. He can't stay away from it. So, so at some point he's going to pedigree somebody. If he, if he hasn't already, he, he'll come back. They, they always do look at flair. Oh God, flair. <sighs> but I ain't crying for no crackers. The main event of this show, Rollins and Dominic Mysterio, I guess. Was this the main event? One of the main events, I think at the top of the hour. You know that Seth Rollins is not about to lose. Clean, at least. Um, it's like part of wrestling is you watch because you don't know what's going to happen. In this match, you know it's not going to be a clean win or it's going to be a run-in or a DQ. Or... And then the match didn't even happen. You knew Rollins is either going to win or it's going to be some sort of no finish. So forget a finish. It just didn't happen. Whatever. Owens and Zayn run out. Great, great. Six-man tag. Oh, great. The YouTube guy, I don't care. Ricochet, another talent who can't talk. He was way better. Ricochet was 10 billion times better with a mask on as Prince Puma. He was way better. He can't speak. He's a great athlete, good physique, but he can't talk. He has no charisma. And you're putting him in the ring with a YouTube guy. I, I can't imagine the ratings not dropping in this segment. Then, um... Some he she with Trish Stratus face Becky Lynch. This match was too long. I don't give a damn. Trish Stratus is old. She don't look the same no more. I can't stand Canadians anyway. Fuck them. Uh, some cunt named Dupree graduates or is on a short bus. Some Vikings come out. Who gives a shit? Um, the UFC broad with no eyebrows beats some broad named Emma with some clutch or whatever. Her and Rousey are going to fight, and Ronda Rousey, who's a, a miserable cunt, she's giving demands, in, in real life, she's giving demands, telling WWE they need to send her off properly, and she's leaving at this certain time. And This is driving me to drink. Ronda Rousey had one good WrestleMania match. Everything else has not mattered. She... She quit the UFC because she's a coward. I enjoyed watching Holly Holm whoop her ass. <sighs> she's a horrible actress. She got fucked up feet. I don't see nothing good about Ronda Rousey. But whatever. Cody Rhodes talks. Skip. I think the home run derby was on. Can you believe? Can you believe? Oh, that, that Vlad Jr. Oh, God. Just uh, Vlad Jr., man. Uh, uh, man, when, when, when he, when he, uh, that, that whole event, the crowd was dead when, uh, he surpassed J-Rod. The, the building was on fire. It was going crazy. But as soon as Vlad got that, what, 21st home run, the whole place died. It's like, damn. 
Home Run Derby, the MLB, Dominicans everywhere. The Miz and Tommaso Ciampa. This Ciampa guy is still on the roster? When is he going to quit and go to AEW? The Miz, he still has a job? The Miz, the modern-day Jeff Jarrett. The fake Samoa Joe comes out. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Bradley or Billy or Br Bronson Reed. Yeah, great. <sighs> Who cares? He, he does the same facial reactions every time. The Bull Dyke, Sonya Devil, and, and the annoying cunt Chelsea Green. You know, these dirt sheet sites, why do they always report on these two? If you go on any dirt sheet site, every five seconds they have a post about Chelsea Green. Oh, I can't. Is this bitch Canadian? And Sonya Devil, get this rainbow shit out of here. They they beat two losers. Who cares? Brock Lesnar. They they I guess they advertise Brock Lesnar's coming back again. They're not they they're not gonna do him with Reigns again at SummerSlam. They're not gonna do that again. A rematch, Reigns and Lesnar, are they going to do that again? Do they have another Saudi Arabia show this month? Like, God. Apparently next week on Raw, Lesnar returns for the 87th time. Gable and Otis uh, versus the two Vikings. Oh, my God. This, this, this was the hype to tune in next week. For the next seven days, you should be hyped up. Can't wait. Get your tickets now because Brock Lesnar is coming back again. Two mid-card tag teams are facing in a Viking rule match. What? <laughs> the smiling cunt uh, Rodriguez and some, some her partner versus these two annoying bras in a women's tag match. Great. Two dead belts. And Riddle versus Gunther, non-title. Wow. This wrestling shit is better than ever, ain't it? Six man tag, the 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 fake brood versus uh the ROH All Stars. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is so physically disgusting. The, uh, oh my god, just this man has like 35 skin tags in his armpits. Just oh them French Canadians. Oh my god. Just just bussy man. Now Sami Zayn, that's a great talent. Sami Zayn, you know what? You know what? Sami Zayn. He might be the chosen one. You know, Sami Zayn, that's somebody I can I can appreciate. He's a Muslim. He's a Muslim. Yeah, he's of the Muslim faith. Good talent, good talker, reliable. I don't really recall him being injury prone. I, I, I like that Sami Zayn. They should have had him versus Reigns at WrestleMania, and he beats Reigns for the belts. And the whole summer, Sami Zayn's the champion. Make a new person. He, he got over. I like him way better than Daniel Bryan and way better than a lot of these clowns. Way better than Jinder Mahal. <laughs> but no, no. Because in wrestling, even though it's trash, when there is something that is good, they have to kill it. And now he's back to being a mid-carder. Being weighed down by Kevin Steen. No pun intended. <sighs> the the show ends with Baylor and Balor and Priest hugging and Ripley is jumping up and down. And then they say the judgment day on NXT. Yes, because this angle is so hot. You're going to tune in tomorrow for two more hours of this same shit with people that are even 10 times less talented in a four times smaller arena. Produced by Bruce Pritchard, Brother Love. This show is trash. You miss nothing. They are going to lose in the ratings to the MLB Home Run Derby. Uh, I got to get back to old school wrestling. I might have to review uh, some of these tapes, some of these DVDs, what have you. And um, that is it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the cash app in the description. If you have a video request, if you want to hear me rant and rave on something, hit the cash app and just put a message in it. And uh, that is it.